So my old pal, Andrew at Retrievo, remember a couple months ago I was screaming and yelling about the stupidity in his blog? Well, he's at it again with a should you wait for an iPhone 5 or get the 4S. And he gives us some reasons why she, we should wait for the 5. I have some reasons why I'm waiting for this guy to never blog again. You can't look... Why would you buy an LED LED TV when you can wait for the next generation? Why have breakfast when you can wait for lunch? Why buy a PlayStation 3 when you can wait for whatever comes out next that hasn't been announced? We can say the bad thing. Don't date that girl! Because what if you break up? Just date the next one. You can say that about anything in life. And this guy just says whatever comes into his head. Let's look at the reasons why we should wait for the iPhone 5. Keep in mind, the iPhone 5 is an intangible. We believe there was going to be a 5 because there were four. Right? There was the one, the first one, and then the 3G, which was the second one. So on the 3G network, then the 3GS, that was three of them. And he says, there's going to be another one. There will be a fourth phone. And there was the iPhone 4. So there's going to be a fifth one. And there was the iPhone 4S. The next one will be an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 6 being the sixth phone. Okay, so when he says the iPhone 5, he doesn't mean this device. He means the next device. Whatever it may be, whenever it may be, whatever it may contain. Anyway, let's look. 4G LTE or WiMAX is his first big reason. Because 4G and LTE is the next generation of networks, like we have the Edge network, the 3G network on AT&T, and then now 4G or LTE, WiMAX if you're on Sprint. Wait for that. Is it going to be in the iPhone 5? Next iPhone? More than likely. Is it going to? Does it stand to reason? Yes. Will 4G LTE be ubiquitous enough where enough customers can reach it? And it makes sense. The carriers hope so. When is the next iPhone coming out? No idea, so we can't really say. Measure that. Presumably, next October, one year refresh schedule every year. That one, June, July, push back to October to get it further away from iPads. Steve's ailing health. Tim Cook taking over, supply chain issues, uh, issues with Samsung, and there was another one that I had in my head, and I don't recall what it was. Okay. So presumably, oh, getting Sprint on board. So presumably, October is the new one-year refresh. One year from now, 4G LTE should be big enough, but may not. We just don't know. Not really a reason to wait, pass up on an awesome phone, because the next phone, at some point, may have the next network that they're hoping will be ready at some point. Okay? There's more. <clears throat> a larger screen, and he says here that the 326 pixel per inch retina display was a sensational feature when it was first introduced a year ago on the iPhone 4 and still has a higher pixels per inch than any most of the smartphones we're aware of. The problem is that competitive smartphones broke the 4 inch screen size barrier a while ago. Smartphones like the Samsung Galaxy S2 with the 4.3 only has 316 pixels per inch but it has a, a 1280 by 720 resolution compared with the iPhone of 960 by 640. All right. Apple's screen size on the iPhone has stayed its same size by design. It's on purpose because we have the iPhone, we've got the iPad, iPhone, iPad, and the Galaxy S2. Okay? Galaxy S2 is, if, if this is an iPad, here, what about this? Like a checkbook. Hello? Hello, Samsung?
Samsung. It's just my checkbook calling. Take my money for something that's too big to be usable. They kept it small on purpose. You want a giant screen? Get a phone with a giant screen. You want a quality phone with high resolution, with apps that are made for that exact aspect ratio, with no pixel doubling, no cropping, no clipping, and you get the iPhone. <clears throat> slimmer design. A slimmer design or new form factor would have been cool if we got an iPhone 5 instead of a 4S. I'm not going to lie. But, the definitive definitiveness, if I can speak English, I'm so fired up over this guy, the definitiveness with which Andrew speaks. Hello Andrew, this is my checkbook calling again, do some research in the future. Samsung has been touting the fact that its Galaxy S2 is slimmer and lighter than the iPhone 4. Okay, it is. That was all supposed to change when Apple introduced a slimmer and lighter iPhone. Instead, we got a faster and better iPhone in the same old case. Where's Johnny Ive when you need him? Where is Johnny Ive when you need him? We need Johnny Ive right now to come out, smack Andrew in his mouth, and say, Andrew, there was no supposed to. This was all supposed to change when Apple introduced a smaller and slimmer and lighter and sleeker iPhone 5. Supposed to? Supposed to? Andrew, I'm sorry we... Andrew, this is my notebook calling this time. It's, it's actually, I'm calling from Apple. We are so sorry we didn't do what you said we were supposed to do because you're somebody. There's no supposed to. Apple does what they do where they think it's cool. They make it whatever. What is wrong with this person? Why does he... Who said that? It's like the iPhone 5 was here and then Johnny Ive took it and said, No, you can't have it, world. Why would they do that? That's not what happened. There is no supposed to. Does, it does not exist. It'll be what it'll be. All the things, but there was going to be one. We knew about it. No, we speculated about it. And we saw a whole bunch of rubber cases out there coming from China. Okay? China's got about a billion less condoms on the market because they went out and made a whole bunch of these silicone, sleeve, silicone sleeves because they thought it was going to be, but it never actually was. NFC Mobile Wallet. NFC stands for Near Field Communications, or not fucking correct. NFC Mobile Wallet. Apple's going to put this in their next one. We hope they do. There's a reason why NFC has not become popular. It scares the crap out of people. That's that contactless, con contactless payments then you just take your card and you, and you just rub it. You just kind of pass it over. Best Buy's got it. McDonald's has them. Usually the swipe pad's got like a little thing on top of it. Um, mobile gas had the thing, the little wand. Then you go by and you just... Whoop, and you can pay for your gas that way. It's convenient. It's very cool. But it's not super secure. And people don't like the fact that somebody can just kind of walk by you with a scanner real close, you know, and just kind of brush up against your ass where your wallet is and steal your information because they haven't locked this thing down yet and people don't know enough about it. It scares the crap out of people. Is it coming? Sure. At some point, absolutely. In the next iPhone, not so much. I mean, maybe, but we can't say wait for the iPhone 5 because it'll have NFC mobile wallet in it. Really? No. So his overall thing is, should you wait? And he says, this, this is, this might be my favorite. <clears throat> if you have a 3GS and your contract is up and we think, we think the iPhone 4S is a safe bet, I'll agree for sure. If the Siri Assistant works as well in real world as it did in the demos, it'll be reason enough to upgrade to a 4S. He had the actual phone with the actual OS in his hands. Either it works or it doesn't work. And he was even nervous about showing it off, but he did anyway, and it worked. On the other hand, if your contract is up, you can shop around for any phone. There's some attractive iPhone competitors coming from the likes of HTC and Samsung, who, by the way, are paying Microsoft every time they produce a phone for using Android that they stole from Google, uh, that Google stole from Microsoft. Uh... And the newest version of Android, titled Ice Cream Sandwich, 
should start to appear on some of them. Should start to appear on some of them. Not will on these models. Basically, Mr. You know, Specific says there are some phones out there that should be getting the new ice cream sandwich Android at some time. Don't buy the iPhone 4S that you've seen because some things are getting something sometime. That's pretty much all that he says. Okay. This guy's getting dumber by the day. Okay. You like the 4S? Get it. You want a big screen? Don't get it. You want a slim phone? Don't get it. You want Siri? Get it. Get what you like because it makes sense for you, not because at some point in the future something may happen that will give you a better opportunity. Okay. If we waited for the next generation of what may happen for everything, we'd never do anything. Okay. The only thing I'm waiting for in the future that I'm hoping that I can bank on is that Andrew disappears from the tech blogging world. I have not been that lucky at this point, till this point in life. So. Expect more me yelling at him in the not-too-distant future, I'm sure. See you soon.